You really are an excellent student. Even that dance was perfect. Uh, so yeah, last time, welcome back guys, Final Fantasy VIII. Last time, uh, Squall got an invitation to dance, and, um, did he save the last one? The last dance? I don't know. Find out now, Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, even that dance is perfect. Yep, basically a bunch of story stuff here, so I'm just gonna do the voices. <laughs> Squall not saying anything, just kinda, kinda, kinda side-eyes quest is there, being cool, you know. Thank you. Typical Squall, you know. Just, uh... Uh, by the way, where is this in the garden? I don't think there's a way to reach this part of the map, is there? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Yes. Hmm. So, you'll dance with someone you don't even know, but you can't stand being around me. Oh, ho, ho, do I detect a little jealousy, Quistus? Because you know what? That's awesome. Hmm. Whatever. You're an instructor, and I'm your student. Yeah, uh, Squall brings up a good point. Like, uh, I know Quistus is like 17 and an instructor, but I mean, there is that whole, you know, power dynamic. She really shouldn't be jealous that I danced with, uh, I don't even know this girl. It's kind of awkward when you don't say anything. Ah, yeah, yeah, laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> that's true. I was like that myself. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Oh, I completely forgot. I wonder what's to become of me. Uh, forgot what? What's she talking about? Oh, what did she forget? Uh, what's that? I've come to give you an order. Hmm, an order. All right. Well, I guess we got a new seed mission. Let's hear it. Our first seed mission. You and I are to go to the secret area. Ah, she wants to make out. Alright. That's that's cool. It's where students secretly meet up and talk after curfew. So, they Netflix and chill. <clears throat> I think we all know where this is going. Alright, Quizzes, let's go. It's inside of the training center. Oh. Wait, this is a real place in the garden? I don't remember this. What do you want to do there? I think it's pretty clear, Squall. She wants to make out. And then, uh, what happens next is, you know. Are we going to tell <laughs> everyone there they're violating curfew? Save that for the disciplinary squad. Oh, wow, I literally predicted the next line. But, like, yeah, yeah literally, that's Cypher's job. You know, Cypher and, uh, Fujin Raijin. Yeah, yeah, that's not our job, Teach. I mean, yeah, it's not... Yes, yeah, what's Squall saying here is not my department. Uh, <laughs> oh, you found that funny, huh? I know I'm a pretty funny guy, so. Go get changed and meet me in front of the training center. This will be my last order. Wait, what? Uh, oh, we're free to move here. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, can you can you go anywhere here? Uh, maybe there's a hidden draw point? Weird, like I, you never come back to this area. Hmm, question. Uh, yeah, what do you mean, last order? What the? What do you mean, last order? Well, I have a lot on my mind. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to ask where to meet. You might actually lose a seed rank on that. Well, no, I'll ask her. Let's just see what she says. Uh, same thing. Okay. Yeah, you never come back. This area is really weird. It's, uh, I mean, I like it. It's kind of like a balcony on the second floor of Garden. Well, maybe even the third floor, if you think about it. Yeah, because I'm thinking about the Battle of the Gardens, and, uh... Yeah, this is pretty high up. This area looks pretty high up. Um, and you can't go over here, so... Yeah, pretty weird, but, uh, that this, you know, area even exists. I'd like to see this area data mined, just to see, like, what in the flippity flam's going on here. But anyway, there may be some kind of secret no one's figured out there. Get changed to meet at the training center. What's this all about? Oh, that's Squall's uh, inner inner thoughts there. I can just do those in my default voice. Uh, oh, and we're back at a save point. Thank goodness. Ah, uh, because yes, I did not save at the end of last episode, so honestly, I've been worried the entire time the game's gonna crash. And let's just uh, let's go with number this one, sixteen. Sure, why not? Alright, there we go. Now I am relieved because we have saved. 
Uh, yeah, you can go in this room here. Uh, steel. Uh, yeah, and Squall Steel in his seed uniform. So that's why you have to change. You have to change out of your, you know, inauguration uniform. Back to the default gear, you know, back to the flag gear. Let's get changed again. Yeah. And that's basically like a flag for the game to, like, you know, advance the plot. <laughs> so sometimes you'll come in here and change your clothes, even though it's just like, yeah, did I really need to do that? Well, yeah, the game has to, like, flag something in order to, uh, you know, progress the plot. Uh, you are free to do quite a bit here, um, because normally you're not allowed to go outside of your dorm late at night. So, yeah, feel free to go around and talk to NPCs and stuff, but, uh, you'll find you can't actually get very far because, like, for example, you see I'm trying to go to the, up here to the cafeteria? Let's talk to this guy. It's after hours. All facilities except the training center are closed. Return to your quarters. Hey, buddy, I've got orders, man. Orders. I'm a seed. Yeah, you guardian, garden faculty, why don't you buzz off, bro? Uh, but yeah, if you try to go, like, to the quad or to the... Yeah, you really can't go all that far, so... Um... I think there's something interesting you can do here if you go... No, wait, you can't go upstairs, can you? Or can you at this hour? I think you can, actually. Um... Yeah, but there's a garden staff here, too. Yeah, so you can't even do that. Um, I think one thing you can do is, like, leave the gate. You might not even be able to... Let's see, let's see. I mean, because normally I just breeze by this part of the mission. You know what I mean? And I go right where they tell you. But there may be some kind of, like, dialogue or something where you normally can't go. Oh! This guy at the gate's actually going to stop us. Hey! You're not allowed to go out after curfew. Ah, I think if you keep trying... You'll actually get demoted a seed rank, but you'll get some interesting dialogue from him. So let's do it. Hey! Alright, if I keep trying. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Because of your lack of understanding, I'm going to have to report you to your instructor. Go ahead, buddy. I don't care. Your seed is a rank went down. Yeah! That's exactly what I was talking about. So there you go. Um, now, of course, I'm not actually going to do that do that i mean because i literally just saved but that's something pretty interesting you can do <laughs> so let's exit the game <laughs> and i'll go right back in yeah there you go that's pretty uh unique that uh that's even a feature in the game but there you go uh so yeah now we'll load up the save and i'll just go back into the plot as usual so yeah pretty cool that that's even a uh, thing but uh there you go a little unique dialogue there for you guys. All right, uh, what time are we at? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna head uh, here, head to the training center. Basically gonna take care of some of the training center dialogue and then we will call it an episode, yeah. I should have plenty of time too because uh, thankfully I did that waltz thing and I'm sorry I had to end that episode short, but uh, actually does me a favor because I'm pretty sure that would have went over 30 minutes, which I'm sure you guys know is the limit for my normal episodes, so there's that. Alright, anyways, we're moving on. There's Questus. Oh, let me just stand over here. Squall, I was just wondering, uh, have you fought the T-Rex hard in the training center? No, I have not. I'm not sure. You can defeat it quite easily using Status Junction. Uh-oh, tutorial time. I don't think so. Nope, up, 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 up. Skip, 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 skip. Okay. Yeah, because I literally did that uh, last stream and episode. If you want to see how to do Status Junction, uh, watch the stream VOD right before the waltz episode. Well, use a sleep... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, did, I literally junction sleep. <laughs> just because I knew we could, uh, come on, let's go to the secret area. Wink, wink. It's just inside the training center. All right, let's go. Oh, and you can't talk to Quistus anymore. Okay. Well, uh, side note, Quistus is in your party, so you might want to junction her. I'm, I'm just saying, um, whenever you get a new character in your party, you might want to yeah, check your GF junction. So let's take off Shiva and Siren. And let's just go over to good old Quistus here. Uh, strength plus 40, sure. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just saying, I'm not saying anything's going to happen. I'm just saying, you know, make it a good habit. You get new characters in your party, uh, you might want to junction them. And now, uh, I know she doesn't have any magic, but uh, draw, GF, uh, magic. 
Uh, let's give her move five and vitality forty. Sure. Uh, now I think Selfie's got all the magic, so let's see. Uh, indeed she does. Okay, so let's put all. Uh, member to receive magic. What's this? Uh, wait, what? Uh, transfer magic. Wait, what? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go to Quist this. There is a way to do this. Wait, maybe that's it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I've got it. I've got it. So we take the GFs off, actually. Hang on. There we go. We go to... Because there's a quicker way to do this. We go to Junction Exchange, actually. Switch. Yeah, like this. That way we get all the magic, right? Let's check. Bingo, buddy. Now we stick the GFs on. Ah. Yeah, see, even I haven't done this in a while, so... A little rusty, but, uh... Draw. GF. Magic. Nice and easy. Move five. Vitality. Bingo, buddy. And now we just, uh... I'm not really gonna, you know, junction quest us, uh, shall we say, optimally here. I'm just really just gonna just wing it, you know. Because we're trying to get through the episode. So, uh... Kira? Sure. Uh... Magic? Lozaga? Spirit? Uh... Water? Firaga? Scan? Oh, wait. I do have the doubles. Uh... Wait, Asuna is good on this, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, right. Okay, so Squall, she needs the sleeps from Squall, and I think we're good. Uh, sleeps to Christice. There we go. And then... Yeah, so this is how what she was saying about status attack is basically like you can junction sleep like I'm just about to do to your status attack. And then you have like a 45% chance to, you know, put your enemy to sleep while you're physically attacking them. Uh, it doesn't really come up all that often, but eh, it might. You never know. So anyway, let's head on out. And you can't go back and save, can you? I don't think maybe you can. I've never w tried to go back and say because, you know, Quiss is all like, hey, yo, diggity dog, why don't you come up in here and get this done? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, this is one of those parts of the game that, I mean, really, you could cut out and would anything change? I mean, I guess Quistus does have, like, a character moment here, but, nah, you know what I mean? It's kind of, you know, innocuous filler. It's filler. This is what we call the anime filler arc. Now, I, in the interest of time, I am trying to do this all in one episode, so... Normally I'd card these guys and take all the time in the world, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna kill them. These are grats, by the way, so... Pretty weak enemies, but, uh... They can use a special attack called Sleeping Gas, which will actually put all your party members to sleep. Also, if you do not have the sleep magic, yeah, these guys have it. If you draw from them, they have, and they can drop that sleep powder. So, there you go. So, all right, draw point. So yeah, if you really, really want to do that sleep thing that Quistus was talking about, uh, yeah, just draw some sleeps till you have 100 on each character. And you're good. But we can do that at any time. In fact, I might do that between episodes, just to let you guys know. Double back here and stock up sleeps. Uh, let's save here in case my phone cuts out. That's always a good habit. Uh, anyway, let's go. All right, Questus, what's up? Uh, you wanted to come here, right? This is the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> make-out zone, so let's do it. All right, I got my chapstick, so... Uh, yep. Yeah, oh, and, and yeah, look at all this. There's couples, there's a couple of people there. There's a couple of people there. She's kind of leaning on our shoulder. All right, it's make out time, boys. Let's do it. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, so you, with your ex, right? Yeah, she's talking about her ex. She's totally into us, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, so uh, we're going over here. Yeah, let's just get a little corner and, uh, all right. I got my chapstick on. Let's do it. I'm ready. But you gotta set the mood before you make out, so let's uh, see what Squall does here. Gotta set the mood. Just, uh... <sighs> what time?
time is it? <laughs> it's makeout time. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm just kidding. What time is it? Uh, nice icebreaker. What's this? Nice icebreaker. <laughs> it's after midnight. All right. Oh well. Uh, what do you mean? You all right, Quistus? Uh, what's uh? Seems like something's bugging her. I, Quistus Chirpe, and no longer an instructor as of now. Oh, see, you see what it is, guys? She's really into us. But the whole, you know, dynamic I was talking about. A teacher's not allowed to like her student. So, okay, she quit her job so she can make out with us. Okay, let. That's fine. As a, I'm a member of Seed. Seed. Now, just like you. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up working together. Eh? Wink, wink. Ah, uh, yeah. I got you, Quistus. I know right where this is going. All right. Uh, response scroll. See, this is the point of the game. I wish there were dialogue options. Oh, really? <sighs> is that all you're going to say? I mean... If it was me, trust me, Quizzes, I would have said something different. Anyway. I would have asked, like, yeah, why'd you quit? Or, uh, what? If that's how it was decided, you have to abide by it. Decided? You know, Squall, have you ever considered this? Maybe she made this decision on her own. Why did she make it? What is happening? And will Gohan be able to learn the Kamehameha? Find out next time. Final Fantasy Z. Yeah, bro, like, what do you mean decided? You're just, like, assuming she got fired, which maybe she did. I don't know. Yeah, you could ask, like, were you fired? What happened? What's wrong? You know? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, Squall. Just trying to help your, uh, your Riz game, bro. <laughs> <sighs> they told me that I failed as an instructor. Uh-oh. Well... Basically, that I lacked leadership qualities. Oh, that is so vague, Quistus. That is, that is the most boilerplate BS. Man, whatever. They gypped you, girl. They gypped you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you did teach me a lot, but then again, I did skip all those tutorials, so maybe they're right. <laughs> ah, I was a seed by the age of 15. Got my instructor license at 17. Yeah, see, like I said, she and Squall are like the same age. It's only been a year since I got it. Uh, wait, a year. So 17 plus 1. Oh, she's 18. And I think Squall's 18? Question mark? I don't know. All I know is Squall's like pretty close to her age. So, you know. Yeah. I forgot his exact age, but uh, whatever. <sighs> I wonder why I went wrong. Um... Yeah, that's, uh... At, at times like this, it's best to just let her pour her heart out. You know what I mean? And then make out later. I did my best. Are you listening? Uh... He's kind of staring off into space. Are you done yet? Squall, bro, you're blowing it! You're blowing it! What are you doing? I don't want to talk about it. Bro, just let her... Just listen to her. That's all she's... Ah, oh, Squall. What am I supposed to say about other people's problems? Um, I don't know. Any of the questions I asked? I'm not asking you to say anything. Right. She just wants you to listen, bro. It's very easy. Yeah, yeah. Then go talk to a wall. Jeez, Squall. What the? Flippity fuka la flam. Aren't there times when you want to share your feelings with someone? Yeah, there are times I also want to just keep it bottled in and share my feelings with them next week. You know what I mean? Uh, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Right, Squall? Everyone has to take care of themselves. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Everyone needs help sometimes. Oh, uh, but okay. This is Squall's philosophy, though. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying, you know, that's one way to live, I guess. <clears throat> I don't 
want to carry anyone's burden. <laughs> it's pretty funny that Squall says this line. You know, I know what happens at the end of the game. And like this attitude compared to, I don't know, an, ep an attitude, let's say at episode 114, is going to be pretty different, let's just say. Interesting line, though. Um, but yeah, uh, he just kind of walks off. And so, yeah, he kind of, uh, sorry, Quistus, but he kind of, uh, wasn't really there for her. No leadership qualities? Failed in structure? Perhaps they're right. Or perhaps Squall's just kind of... He's a lone wolf, you know? Uh, maybe she should have... Uh, she had said this to, like, Dr. Katawaki or something. I feel like this combo would have went a lot better. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, that's it. Pretty interesting scene. Basically, it's a big character moment for Quistus. But, uh... You guys will see Pan to the sky, you know, nice stars in the sky. Pretty nice scene overall. All right, well, we're still recording on my phone, right? Okay, good. And I just need to check what time it is because I have somewhere to go today. So let me save right here. Do a little check at the computer. Um, five o'clock. Well, I think I can get this event done in time. Or can I? Ooh, actually, I just realized, guys, I'm actually going to have to end the video here, because in the next episode, um, I'm just going to spoil it. There's going to be a thing that we have to do, and there's going to be a new, two new spells we can draw, and I want a hundred of them for both characters. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode right here of Final Fantasy VIII. I uh, appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, I'm just going to go back into the game here, and yeah, we're going to double save to indicate that's the end of the recording session. That's what I do. There we go. All right. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think, though, of that whole moment there with Quistus and Squall? Do you think Squall's a jerk? Or do you think Quistus? What do you think? Yeah. Because everyone has their opinions on Quistus and Squall and the dynamic, and let me know what you think. Do you think Squall blew his chance? Do you think Squall's just more, you know, lone wolf and, like, you know what I mean? Lone Wolf to where he doesn't even notice that he needs to care about people? Or he's literally just, like, doing that on purpose and being a jerk? Because, uh, it's funny. I've had, uh, discussions with friends about this, and pretty pretty heated ones, too. Um, yeah. But, yeah, if you like this episode, let me know. Uh, we got some other stuff going on on my YouTube channel. We got, uh... And Nightmare Troubadour. I'll probably post some uh, Pokemon Platinum the day I post this. And yeah, also Yu Gi Oh! Uh, da -da GX Duel Academy. And yeah, we just started Pokemon Trading Card Game 2. Yeah, if you like Pokemon, there you go. I'm also doing a randomizer of Pokemon 2. And we've got Dragon Ball Z2 Legacy of Goku 2. Alright, but that's it. Yeah, feel free to check any of that out. Or if you only like Final Fantasy VIII, keep coming back. And uh, if you just like my content, fun fact, I'm in every video on this channel. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. And have a good day. Take care. Until next time.